All right, now students, for this lesson, we're talking about <clears throat> applying uh, exponent rules. This is the start of the vi uh, video series, and we have multiplying exponents, powers of powers, dividing exponents, and then we'll get to negative and zero exponents with the self quiz at the end. As always for these video series, you need to at least try to um, go in order if you can, and I'll give you some problem sets. I'll go over some basic ideas. Then I want you to try to um, practice this with some problems. And uh, you pause the video and try it on paper and see if you're right. All right, so let's go through the sequence and we'll start with multiplying exponents. All right, let's look at some examples to give you an idea of the general concept of multiplying exponents. Let's say that we have x squared times x to the third or x to the second power times x to the third power. Notice that uh, most students will actually will have x to the sixth, okay? Because you see the multiplication sign and you think that it's two times three. But remember what the exponent really is. It's a shortcut for repeated multiplication. So x squared is actually x times x. x cubed, or x to the third power, is three x's multiplied together. And since we're multiplying all those together, all we have to do is count up how many x's we're talking about. So we have five x's there being multiplied, so it's x to the fifth. Okay? So the rule is when we are multiplying like bases, that's an x and that's an x, we take the exponents and we actually add them together. Okay? We're just counting how many x's are being multiplied. So well, here it is stated a little more mathematically. When multiplying exponents or powers, with like bases, you add the powers. Okay, that's what we did. X squared times X to the third is X to the fifth. All right, let's look at this next example. We've got three X, which is three times X. And we have multiplication by another X. And then we have multiplication by two X to the fourth, which is two times four X's. All right, now, what we're going to do is just count up what we've got, and we want to make sure that we have the right coefficient in the number part. So 3 times 2 is 6, of course. So we put that in front, and then we count up our x's, and there's 6 of them, right? So 6x to the 6th. A couple things to keep in mind, and that is that an x is really x to the 1st, okay? And there's a 1 coefficient there if you don't see any other number. So we still are doing 3 times 1 times 2, which will give us our 6 answer. And we still are doing x to the 1st times x to the 1st times x to the 4th. And that would still give us x to the 6th. All right? Final answer right there. But in order to go from the problem to the answer real quickly, make sure you remember this rule. You add the powers. All right, now you pause this video and try these first four problems here. Multiply and be careful with the exponents and the signs of your answer. Go ahead. All right, let's look at number one. The answer is negative six y to the fifth x squared. And I wrote this down to just to remind you that you could put it in alphabetical order, which is actually considered proper form. And we have y to the first, times y to the fourth, and that gives me my y to the fifth. For number two, we have um, four times negative two, that would be negative eight, and eight to the fourth times eight to the third would be eight to the seventh, add those exponents, remember, and b to the fourth times b to the first would be b to the fifth. That's a common mistake right there. Don't forget that a single variable has a one as an exponent. Number three, positive 16 because we have negative 4 times negative 4 and we have a y to the first or just a y x to the third and you could put those in different order alphabetically if you want and number four if it's just a negative sign in front of a variable make sure you remember that's a negative one so it's really negative one times negative three positive three and m to the first times m squared m to the third n squared times a single n there is also n to the third. So there's your final answer. 